Dignity's Revenge, Establishment GOP Gloat Over Moore's Defeat, What They Said Will Make You Furious. Several establishment Republicans cheered as the Alabama Senate Republican candidate Judge Roy Moore lost to his Democratic opponent Doug Jones. Here are some of the establishment Republicans who praised Roy Moore's loss in the Alabama Senate race on Tuesday. National Republican Senatorial Committee, NRSC, Chairman Cory Gardner, RCO, said in a statement, Tonight's results are clear. The people of Alabama deemed Roy Moore unfit to serve in the U.S. Senate. I hope Senator-elect Doug Jones will do the right thing and truly represent Alabama by choosing to vote with a Senate Republican majority. Republicans lost another lawmaker in their slim majority in the Senate. Now the GOP only controls 51 seats in the upper chamber of Congress. CNN conservative contributor Anna Navarro tweeted on Tuesday night, Roy Moore lost. Steve Bannon lost. Donald Trump lost. Pedophilia lost. Bigotry lost. Homophobia lost. Racism lost. Doug Jones won. Mitch McConnell won. African Americans won. Women won. Victims won. Justice won. Morality won. Values won. Sanity won. Decency won. America won. Senator Jeff Flake, R. Oz who donated $100 to Doug Jones' campaign, tweeted on Tuesday, Decency wins. The Mish McConnell Alliance Senate Leadership Fund cheered Moore's loss in a statement, saying, This is a brutal reminder that candidate quality matters regardless of where you are running. Not only did Steve Bannon cost us a critical Senate seat in one of the most Republican states in the country, but he also dragged the President of the United States into his fiasco. Tim Miller, who reportedly pitched the original Washington Post story that alleged Roy Moore engaged in sexual misconduct with multiple underage girls, tweeted, Heck you have a job Bannon. Miller then added, Cheers to all the craven assholes who knew better but endorsed a guy who molested a 14-year-old girl anyway. Never Trump Senator John McCain's, R. Oz, daughter, Meghan McCain, said, Suck it, Bannon. The Weekly Standard editor-at-large Bill Crystal tweeted, Perfect 10-2017 to 2017, August 15, Roy Moore leads in GOP Al San primary. September 26, Moore wins runoff. December 12, Dems win seat. Republican pollster Frank Lynch said, Steve Bannon wanted to destroy the at-GOP Senate majority. Tonight, he got his wish. The Civil War is far from over. Alex Conant former communications director for Marco Rubio, explained on Tuesday, um, McConnell did everything in his power to stop this debacle. Meanwhile, Trump and Bannon opportunistically condoned it. Rich Lowry, an editor at the National Review, argued, Steve Bannon's campaign to depose Mitch McConnell takes a big step forward, by throwing away a seat in a ruby red state. Never Trump GOP media consultant Rick Wilson tweeted, Steve Bannon is a cancer. Good people in Alabama were the first dose of chemo. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's former Chief of Staff Josh Holmes tweeted on Tuesday, Before we get the results, I'd just like to thank Steve Bannon for showing us how to lose the reddest state in the Union and Governor Ivy for the opportunity to make this national embarrassment a reality. T.